Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it feels so weird to be sitting here filming and like talking to my camera because I've been doing voiceovers. My last four videos are voiceovers and I'm not a big fan of voiceovers anymore now that I've gotten used to like doing my makeup and like talking as I go because I feel like it's harder to explain it like sitting down watching it later than it is like while you're actually doing something but during the summer my dad's a teacher and there's somebody always home and it's just always super loud in my house like literally everybody is always screaming in my home that's how we talk to each other it's just a weird Italian thing that we do so it feels weird to be like actually talking to you and not talking to you later but I'm excited to be here today I am going to be doing a video talking about my top five favorite summer red lipsticks <laughs> are ColourPop lipsticks, but that is because I absolutely adore ColourPop, and I do have one of them on my lips right now, and I will tell you about it in just a minute when I start talking about the actual colors, but I want to say, you know, I'm not picking ColourPop just because. I'm picking ColourPop because their lipsticks are affordable and they last for a long time. This particular color, I wore it last Friday, and I wore it from like 1 in the afternoon to like 7 or 8 o'clock at night, and it did not come off. I went to dinner, I ate a pork chop, I ate some salad, and if you guys are lipstick wearers, you know that lipstick tends to come off when you're eating more oily foods and salad. If you're eating, you know, an oil-based dressing, it's going to come off your lips, and super surprisingly, this lipstick did not come off my lips while I was eating that day. So, um, that is why I am including ColourPop, and I have three, or, well, I technically have four, but... We'll call it three ColourPop lipsticks to show you today. There are lots of amazing brands out there, but I find that a lot of them have more, um, like, deeper, truer reds that are based in, like, the blue tones opposed to the orangey reds that I'm showing you today. Even though this one is not, like, a super orangey red, it does have a very bright something or other about it that makes it feel for me like a super summery lipstick. It's weird because I love red lipstick. I will wear red lipstick any time of the year. It's my favorite color. I love all shades and varieties. And I really love a burnt red lipstick, like an almost orangey brown red for fall time. So I might do a video in the fall about that. And I am gonna do one in the winter time about my favorite like just true beautiful reds that are perfect for winter and the holiday season and all that stuff but today we are talking about the brights and the bolds and those summer red lips that are just so beautiful. Now I know there are a ton of videos out there where people are showing you different swatches and all this stuff of lipsticks and this video isn't going to be that different than anybody else's and you're still probably going to be like wasn't that the same color you just showed me when I'm showing you the colors but um, when you're working with tones that are all super similar to each other that is something that's going to happen hopefully me showing you swatches of these colors both on my lips and on my hand will help you guys to kind of see if it's something that you would like when it comes to picking an undertone for a red lipstick it can be really really tricky because all red lipsticks are so similar but so different do you know what I mean like for the longest time I just feel like I struggled to find the perfect red and now I have so many reds that I absolutely adore and it's like I just want to share with the world all of my red lipsticks so we are going to talk about that in just a second but before we talk about the red lipsticks i do want to say a few things because like i said i haven't got to talk to you guys in a while number one i got a new car you guys ah, i'm so excited it's a nice it's a very nice car it's a 2017 lease i can't believe i own a 2017 car i just had like the worst car ever Oh, I'm so excited. The other thing I want to say is that this video is actually kind of a tribute to my grandma who passed away a year ago today, August 12th. My grandma absolutely adored red lipsticks, bright lipsticks, and fuchsia lipsticks as well. It wasn't just red, but she always, always, always had on lipstick. Red was her favorite color, and I think that she kind of instilled this love of red in me, and it's not even like something that I'm saying after the fact that she's passed away, but like my whole life I've always loved the color red, and I think that it's probably because she wore so many red you know colors I remember um, when I was little I used to dress up and wear her red silk nightgown and stand on a hassock and sing it, it was a leg of a doll that had ripped off and the shoe was just like this little black 
at just a little black end and I used to sing in it like because it looked like a microphone and I would sing right there in the kitchen uh, to like anybody and everybody who wanted to listen but I always wore her red silk nightgown and uh, she would put a red lipstick on me and I distinctly remember that and I just red was her favorite color and it's so ironic because the house that she lived in it sold in the spring and now they painted the door red which is very ironic to me that like I don't think red is like that common of a door color or at least not around me it's not I feel like it's very ironic that like her old house now has a red door you know so um yeah I just like to to show you these lipsticks and obviously it doesn't really matter it doesn't make a difference to my grandmother's life <laughs> but um she did make me love lipstick and red lipstick and she was always so glamorous she was a glamorous person and she's so funny and she was so like fun to be around and I feel like I'm so fun to be around because like I learned to be fun from her I don't I feel like that sounds like totally full of myself but I just like I want to invite you all to come to like a holiday with my family, like on my dad's side, they're just all loud mouth Italian people. Like we scream across the place, we eat tons of food, and every single one of them is just like, they're just like fun people. And my other side of the family is also super fun. I'm not like trying to rag on my mom's side of the family at all, but this video is not about my mom's side of the family. It's about red lipstick and my grandma. Yeah, like I just feel like we're all like my grandma and it's very interesting um, to be around us all. And also people say that we like look like my grandma and I don't see any of us looking like my grandma. Um, maybe Lindsay. Lindsay might look like my grandma the most, but like um, people say that like each of us looks like her and that's so very interesting to me because like nobody ever tells me I look like anybody. People are always like, oh Alexis, were you adopted? Who do you look like? My siblings both are blonde with blue eyes. I don't look like my parents. Maybe I was adopted. I don't really know, but yeah. Um, so this video is just a little tribute to my grandma and a tribute to red lipstick. So let's jump into all of the beautiful, beautiful summer shades that I love. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is the shade Frenchie. This is the one that I have on my lips right now. And my hand is a little bit stained because I was testing out like all my red lipsticks that I thought would work. Um, but I'm going to just swatch it on my hand to show you guys what it looks like. And so that's what she looks like. Um, as you can see, it's not a super orangey red, but it does have a brightness to it. It has a lot of a just like this bright quality to it and it is a matte formula again this is Frenchie by Colourpop and I really love their matte formula because it is very very comfortable to wear it's not like drying at all this is what this color looks like it's super super pretty and it lasts a super long time this is the one that lasted like seven hours on me so if you guys are looking for a lipstick that is going to last a super long time and is actually like a real lipstick and not a liquid lipstick because I know a lot of people don't like liquid lipsticks definitely check out Frenchie by Colourpop so the next one I'm only classifying as one lipstick because they are exactly the same shade and they are both by Colourpop the first one is um, Click. This is the one that I'm not going to be swatching on my lips um, just because like I said they're the same exact shade. So this is Click. This is a matte formula by Colourpop and as you can see it's just a very vibrant bright orange red color. I literally wait all year long for myself to get a tan so I can wear this color. It's very hard for me to pull this shade off when I'm not tan when I'm like super pale because it's just like too bright for my pale pale skin um, and the one I'm going to be showing you today is the shade booty and this is in a matte X formula so this does not have the shine to it this has a more you know matte finish that looks more like a liquid lipstick would look but it's still hydrating and it still feels you know like good on your lips and so they do look slightly different but in person they look exactly the same the main difference that like you're seeing on camera is my light shining off of the the slight sheen that is on um, the shade click and that's not on this one right here they are just like a like I said a fiery vibrant orange red like they're almost so close to orange that they almost should be considered an orange but they're just not quite there yet and I love 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 this color and again those two colors are booty 
by ColourPop and Click by ColourPop. The next one I have is another Matte X by ColourPop and this is the shade Love Life. And this is a brick red. That's how I would describe this. This one is very matte. And again, it's a very comfortable formula, but it is a brick, more burnt red. And I absolutely adore burnt colors for the summertime. I also love them for fall. Um, but I've been wearing a lot of burnt shades this year because burnt colors, I feel like, just look good on my skin tone. I just, I mean, I love reds, and I am a neutral skin tone, but I like the way warmer colors look on me. But I also like the way cool tone colors look at me. I don't really know. I should just shut up. But this color is like a true brick red, and it's very, very beautiful. It's very 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 like <sighs> it's muted it's a muted orange red is what it is and I think it's stunning I love it for summer I love it for like going out at night when you don't want to be like bam in your face but you still want that orange tone to your lipstick and that's really what that shade is so beautiful okay the next one this is the wet n wild mega last liquid katsu in the shade missy and fierce i've used this in like two youtube videos um this is a really good liquid lipstick and i really like the applicator i'm gonna wipe it off so i can show you guys but can you see that it's kind of got this like little indentation on it and that just makes it easier when you're applying your lipstick for your lip to like sit right right in there like right in there. It kind of looks like, you know the Who's and like the Cat in the Hat and the Grinch? It looks like their hands if you cut off all the like little furs that stick out. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm alright. So yeah, this color is more blue based than all of the others, but it's a true red and it still has some of that brightness to it. It's so pretty. It's deeper than Frenchy. It's definitely deeper than Frenchy. And it does look super like shiny right now, and that's just because it's wet. But it's it's a really pretty color. If you're into cruelty-free products, so far all of these products that I've shown you are cruelty-free. I don't know about the last one. I'll leave it in the description box if it is, because I'll have to check on that for you. But so far, all of the lipsticks that I have swatched on my hand are cruelty-free because ColourPop and Wet n Wild are cruelty-free products. So yeah, I just I absolutely adore this color I love this on my lips like I said it's got this brightness to it but it's still a blue base very similar to Frenchie but just slightly slightly deeper it's a really classic red it's really beautiful with like your hair up in a tight bun and just some false lashes and like hit the town looking fab I don't really hit the town I don't really go anywhere I just like sit in my room and look fab but either way if you whatever you want to do you're wearing this lipstick you are gonna look bomb. I will be sure to link the two videos that I have where I use this lipstick so you guys can see it in action with some makeup going on. And the last shade that I have to show you is Venice by Ofra. Ofra makes hands down the best liquid lipsticks that I have ever used in my entire life. I've worn this to like Olive Garden and stuff. If you live in an area that has Olive Garden, you know that there's a lot of salad there's a lot of breadsticks, a lot of macaroni entering the mouth. Things can get messy, but they do not because their lipsticks last forever. If you guys want to see any lipstick wear tests, let me know because I would love to do some lipstick wear tests where like I just order a lot of food, put on a lipstick, and just like eat. That sounds like a dream video to me. So if you have any lipsticks that you guys want to know how they actually wear, I will literally set up a camera in front of my face and you can watch me like stuff Chipotle, I'll do McDonald's, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I will eat the food for science. Anyway, back to this color. This is another vibrant red shade. I'm going to swatch it on the side because I don't have any more room. It is different than all of the other ones. It is deeper than these two very bright orange ones, but it still has that undertone to it. It still has that very orange undertone. It's super neon. It's very neon, and it's very, very beautiful. Um, it's one of my absolute favorite red lipsticks to wear. It is, like, when I tell you, it is hands down one of my favorite. This one is just, look at it. How could you not, how could you not love it? How? You can't tell me that you couldn't because it's beautiful. Again, so over here we have Venice. At the bottom we have the shade Frenchie. Next, uh, right here, we have the shade Click. Then we have the shade Booty. Next up we have the shade Love Life. And then we have the shade Missy and Fierce. So all of the shades that I showed you are matte colors and that is because I personally like matte 
lipsticks and I think when you're working with a red you want to stick with something that's a little bit more matte but I say stick with a matte or something that's kind of matte because you don't want your red lipstick slipping and sliding all over your mouth it's gonna make wearing it so much harder and I've learned that these shades that I'm showing you right now besides the fact that their colors are absolutely beautiful they wear beautifully as well they are easy to wear they're not high maintenance you don't have to be constantly worrying about them I went to a kid's birthday party and I wore Venice and I ate food and I was just I was face painting at the party and I, I didn't have to worry that much about my lipstick coming off because it's a good lipstick. So I wanted to show you those lipsticks. Those are what I think of them. Those are the swatches. I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what your favorite red lipstick is. What do you like to wear on your lips in the summer, in the winter, in the fall, whenever? What is your favorite red lipstick? Uh, that is all for this video. My name is Alexis and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.